You're here, I'm here, and now it's time for Saturday afternoon football. It's great to be back in Docklands, where it seems like the only thing that grows here is the crime rate. Welcome to Etihad Stadium. With 800 goals and 282 games to his credit, I'm joined now by Matthew Richardson. Hi right, Dan, can't wait for this one to start. Practice matches offer the ideal scenario for experimentation. The Western Bulldogs making their way out of the ground to the tune of the club song. Just waiting for the opening siren now. And here we go. The will to win is important, but the will to prepare is vital. We will see which team has done their homework for this match. Moore putting some power behind that one. Barkirk the better man there. Johannesson ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Kicks it long. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Barkirk aiming for the goals. Kicked in a flurry. Adams will be upset with that. A chance for both teams to set up as the ball crosses the line. Neither Ruckman giving an inch. Grundy taps. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Hamilton gets the tap. Trelaw controls. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the pig. He has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. He grabs it on the run. Williams aims for his man on the ground. Clean tap by Liberatore. Pendlebury gets the ball. Trelaw keeps that one low. Varko is able to grab it on the half volley. Going for goal number one. Nice work from Varko. The visiting team score first. All is in readiness. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Grundy really wears his heart on his sleeve. Moore boots it. Williams by hand. He kicks the ball. Liberatore is bumped off the ball. Pendlebury gets the footy. Pendlebury onto the ball. He boots it. He gathers the loose ball. Smith running in, about to kick. Chance to even the scores right here. Goal for Quantum Pelly. He sinks his first goal. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce straight down. Grundy hits it. Phillips picks up the bouncing ball. Great mark. Hamilton sends one up towards the wing. Williams is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. The loose ball is picked up. Crisp slams the ball to his boot. He kicks the ball. That'll be a free for a push. Kicks. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Reed has missed it. The visiting team by a point. Disappointing kick there. The defense are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult. So I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Hamilton hand passes it. Hastily kicked. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Greenwood just squeezes the kick out. Clean tap by Smith. Booted by Sear. Williams has it. Sends it on its way. Taken by Dale Dale. It's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. Grundy with a terrible kick. Cox with good strong hands. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Cox goes for home. Nice kick. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. 
Knocks it down in front. Dixon aims for his man on the ground. Dunkley is collected by a defender. He receives the handball. Mort sends the ball on its way. He shouldn't have bothered. He passes the ball. He's got the time. He's got the space. He'll surely have the six points as well. The visiting team beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 19 to 6. Barco has the ability, I think, to be a 20 to 30 a goal season player. Liberatore picks it up. Campbell is streaming past and gets the footy. Williams charges fiercely with a powerful bump. Trelaw approaching home now. Johannesson grabs that one. Kicks it. Tap by Hunter. He's heading for home. Side bottom pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. The visiting team in front. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punch by Campbell. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores are the visiting team 25, Western Bulldogs 6. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second run. A quick break and we're back at it. The winners in life constantly think in terms of I can, I will and I am. Liberatore with an easy mark. Choose to kick it. The ball's come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Johannesson with the mark. Slams it on the boot. Liberatore aims for his man on the ground. The ball spills to Morris. Wood gets the ball. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the Western Bulldogs' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. It's with the lead over the Bulldogs. More bounce than a dodgy chip. He cuts the ball off. Good hand skills there. He sends it to an empty space. Moore intercepts the ball. Pendlebury gets the footy. Crisp has the ball. Dunkley intercepts it. Liberatore gathers the ball. Handballs it into open space. Sending it on its way. Great hands. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. The goal for the visiting team. The goal getting his first. They increase their lead. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Campbell got the hit out. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Tap by Grundy. Dunkley comes away with the ball. Dunkley with the tap. Guided by Dixon. Gets boot to leather. Suckling a good crummer. Hastily kicked. Greenwood boots it out on the full. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. 20 minutes from home. You know what they say? This is the impossible angle. Here's the bounce. Campbell, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. Cramer claims the ball. Kicked in a flurry. See it. Ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. 20 minutes from home. English with a relatively easy shot. That's two in a row for the Bulldogs. They're working their way back now. English squares his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. A great effort. Jams it on the boot. Marked by Hoskin Elliott. Hand passes. Liberatore gets his man holding the ball. He'll get the free. That came off the boot with huge power. Kicked by Sia. Takes it well. Trelawd lobs the pass. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Hits the running man. He's running hot, Richard. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. A lot of possessions for him. Taken by Cox. He shows the quick hand. Sends the Sharon on its way. Takes it well. Look, the Bulldogs haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Dugowie onto the ball. Dugowie with the shot. Had the advantage on the scoreboard over the Western Bulldogs. And look at the bounce. Hit by Grundy. Ends possession. That play is as high-tech as a campfire. Reed dishes it off to the running man. Opportunity for Reed. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Takes it well. 
Johannesson slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Narka throws it, clear as day. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Sia winds it up distance, could be the problem. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here, 40 meters from home. Cox steers the ball towards goal. Morris marks it. He kicked that one like my mother. The contest, no match for him. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. Well, it's half time. What have you got to say, Richard? Besides pride, loyalty, discipline, heart and mind, confidence is the key to all the locks and put plenty of that running into the long break. And here we go for the second half. The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a person's determination. Dunkley throws the ball. Free kick. Chips it down towards half forward. Marked by Degoe. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. The ball is stopped towards goal by Degoe. Cox looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Adams can passes it. The one-two. Did he see a ghost? Bounces favorably for Reed. He's a ball magnet. Ends possession. Hits the running man. Trelaw again, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. He's racking up possessions. Trelaw is a very intelligent guy. He always seems to make the right decisions no matter what's happening on field around him. All is in readiness. Here's the bounce. Grundy with first hands to the ball. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Kicks it. Morris doesn't waste that opportunity. Daniel runs past and gets the ball. Haven't called his name too often today. Picture perfect drop punt. Campbell guides it. Bontempelli gets the tap. Holds it too long. It's going to be a free. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Over the top of the pack. 45 metres out. This should prove an easy angle for Quantum Pelly. Goal to the Bulldogs. Where did they ever need that? Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Grundy gets onto the ball. Hunter gets it on the bounce. He's got the footy in his hands. Wins the hard ball. The Western Bulldogs just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. It gets tapped. Rough head gets possession. Boy, do they need to score. He could not have kicked that any better. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Grundy nicely outclassing Binglish. The balls come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Dixon gets the kick off before his pole axe by Greenwood. Greenwood chips it to the pocket. Crisp wins the marking contest. He wants to play on. Bontempelli gets the ball. He's got the football now. It's gone through for a magnificent behind they've got a behind now they need to switch on because there's a real chance the opposition can go coast to coast and put them further behind i would have expected him to nail that how he's really starting to get into the right positions on the ground primary with the shot red path with a strong mark lining it up with the goal now Red Park has a kick, the Western Bulldogs trail. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. He's looking for options now. Dunkley picks up the loose ball. It's like he has the ball on a string. An easy interception for Bontempelli. No good tackling him there, mate. There's nothing to damage. High tackle. Having a big day going for goal number four. Bontempelli gets it behind. Disappointing kick there. Looks like he's going to go long. Collected by Dale Pendlebury, but Greenwood holds the ball, and that'll be a free kick for Smith. Boots it. Redpath picks up the loose ball, and they like it behind the goals. He likes it. 
Goal. Redcap getting his first. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Guided by Grundy. Gathers the ball. He's got the football now. Deft touch from Pendlebury. Gathers the ball. Liberatore kicking the ball free of the pack. Dixon is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Green takes the opportunity. Greenwood grabs the ball on the bounce. Primary goes for home. Disappointing kick there. Has it now. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Green has caught him for holding the ball. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. 40 meters out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Shot at goal by English. That's got to hurt it. Just missed. He'll be disappointed with that effort. Roughhead waiting for the man to free up. As we get into the final break, the scores are the visiting team 55, Western Bulldogs 41. Both coaches will be anxious, no doubt, to reinforce the importance of the last quarter's performance to their players. The Bulldogs need... And the last quarter of this match is underway. Push yourself again and again. Don't give an inch until the final siren sounds. He gets the hand pass. Oh, really? He picks up the loose ball. Darker puts it on the boot. And the ball goes over the boundary line. The umpire says, throw it in. Umpire throws the ball in. Grundy hits it. The ball knocked up. Trelaw shoots for goal. The visiting team by 15 points. That's one area of his game that does need improvement. Johannesson has a lovely kick on him. If he can utilize that in heavy traffic, he will become crucial to his team's finals ambitions. Morris with the kick. He marks the ball. Daniel with the kick. Trelaw handballs it. Dugowie returns it. He gets boot to the ball. Cox with good strong hands. Sends the Sharon on its way. Lining up the goal now. Johannesson picks it. Nice contested mark by Liberatore. Goes up the line. Poor contact next time. Mix it a little more leather. Reed. Morris kicks it outside the defensive 50. Daniel told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. Trelaw gets the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Dixon takes the mark. He slams that on the boot. It's a mark. Don't take too long lining up the goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. More marks on the run. What a crunch. He lays off the pass. Now he's asked for it back. Powell boots it. See it with good, strong hands. Dale has caught him for holding the ball. Jams it on the boot. Big man does nicely. He's had lots of touches this match. Williams with the ball. They've conceded possession. Grundy Campbell short. Bontempelli has caught him for holding the ball. Bontempelli lets fly with a shot at goal. Bontempelli slots the goal. He's kicked four and he looks like he's not done scoring yet. Grundy got the hit out. Pendlebrick with the ball. Dunkley gets a nice bump from Trelaw. Superb handball. He's running hot, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. The visiting team with the ascendancy over the Bulldogs, leading the match 57 to 47. Disappointing kick there. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Western Bulldogs might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. He knocks it down. The loose ball is collected. Green with the football. He intercepts the ball on the bounce. Sending it on its way. Sending it on its way. He gets it under pressure. 
30 meters out. This should prove an easy angle for Smith. Smith shoots it. Nice work from Smith. Richo, this match keeps getting better and better. Smith can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Dunkley throws the ball. Free kick. Jams it on the boot now. He's chopped that one off. Adams releases just before he's poleaxed by Hamilton. Handballs out into space. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Vaco. Vaco. Three goals so far. Well done. The visiting team in front. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Grundy with the tack. The bouncing ball is controlled. Side bottom kicks are just in time. Daniel looking to make them pay for that turnover. And good mark under the circumstances. Suckling. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Chris being penalised there. Perfect kick. The Bulldogs still need to dig deep to fix the scoreboard deficit they faced. It. Knocks it down in front. A favourable bounce. What an end to the match. So close, but Vic... The final result. The visiting team, 63, took the Bulldogs, 59.